Welcome to Tuntum Network. I'm Cyrus, and thank you for choosing to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another episode talking about the worldwide patronage of skin bleaching products and its ramifications. I know you appreciate this episode by the time I'm through, so please stay with me till the end. Let's get started. In 2019, the World Health Organization did research on countries that had the highest rate of skin bleaching by way of patronage in the world. And a country in Africa topped the list, ladies and gentlemen. I'll give you that information in a minute. But, but listen, according to Straight Research, which is also published on the Yahoo Finance News for year 2024, the global skin lightening product market size was valued at $9.88 billion in 2021 and is predicted to hit $16.08 billion by 2030. From Asia to North America to Africa, it's common, it's trendy, and it's a booming industry. It has taken on new names like skin toning and skin lightening. It is the new standard for women in many countries in Southeast Asia, talking about Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, the Philippines, all the way to China. It is a must for a modern woman to look bright and glowing, ladies and gentlemen. Other reports also indicate that it is a huge industry in the Middle East, especially because of their women by way of how they dress and cover up their whole bodies, leaving their faces. And that's their only way of showing off their beauty. Very surprising. It's a global enterprise. The situation has risen to a height where a lady may decide not to take her bath for being tired, but will make sure to wash her face with a lightening soap and cream it with a lightening cream before she goes to bed. And I know most ladies across the world will confirm this. I've lived there, I've seen it, I've read about it, and it's the new standard, ladies and gentlemen. And I would love to hear from any woman from across the world who say anything otherwise. But the research conducted by the World Health Organization in 2019 puts Nigeria as the country with the highest percentage of skin bleaching product usage in the world. Can you believe that? The report states that 77% of all Nigerian women are hooked onto skin lightening creams and soaps. However, other research also shows that the reasons behind why women use such products are the same across the world. It begins with women with low self-esteem, ladies and gentlemen. These are women who feel they are overlooked or unaccepted because their skin is dark or unglowy. For some women, lightening their skin elevates them to the high chance of being hired at a job or called by a man. And so economic reasons play a huge part of why the demand for skin lightening products is so high. In Asian countries such as China, South Korea, Japan, it has been existed for many centuries. They use all manner of expensive brands, including rice, for those who cannot afford to wash their face every night before they sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving you facts here. This is taught to kids at very tender ages till they grow. It has become a cultural thing in some of these countries. So it's common to find a lady who has a white skin face and a yellowish body complexion. Unsurprisingly, light or white skin is highly desired throughout South Asia, which comprises of Afghanistan, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and the Maldives. Did you know that in India, skin lightening products comprise 60% of the dermatological market, as in if you grouped all the products sold in Indian market outside of food. 60% of the other items are dominated by skin lightening products. According to history, this thing started from the colonial days in India, when the British officers gave preferential treatment to light skin or high caste Indian women, creating a connection between light skin and economic prosperity or opportunities. Until this day, India's influential Bollywood film industry primarily features light-skinned actors who also star in advertisement for skin lightening products, ladies and gentlemen. On every product ad you find now, it is a light-skinned, glowy woman. 
Ladies and gentlemen, sex sells and light skin is the catalyst. In addition to this, the choice and actions of many men have contributed to the high usage of skin lightening products around the world. Men are choosing the light skin ladies over the dark skin. That's what the women are saying. Successful men on TV and other media platforms are mostly seen with such types of light skin women setting the precedent that when you have money or when you are a man who makes money, you have to have a light skin woman by your side. For this and other reasons, even mothers are encouraging their kids into early bleaching by way of buying the products for them to lighten up in many parts of Africa and to be accepted. In the Ivory Coast, it's a huge business. Same in Togo, in Liberia, and in Gabon. Many modern women will invest their money in buying these types of products as against taking care of their material needs of their children. I'm giving you facts here, ladies and gentlemen. However, there are certain countries that have banned the use of bleaching agents in the world due to its adverse impact on the health of its citizens. Countries such as Ghana, Rwanda, Japan, and Australia. But that doesn't mean that the ban has eradicated the use of such agents. Rather, other creative means and labels are now inscribed on the products and sold. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost impossible to curb the trend. It will continue to grow and evolve, and eventually it will be hard to find the varieties of skin colors in the world that made the world colorful and beautiful. Black is beautiful. White is beautiful. Yellow is beautiful. Brown is beautiful, just as peach is beautiful. And there shouldn't be any point in the history of, of this world where any of these colors will be extinct. We don't have to lose all these colors. I personally think people have the right to improve on their skin texture or color as they would prefer, especially in the face of all the environmental hazards that affect us through the sun's rays. But I also believe that that, that shouldn't make us want to totally throw away our natural birth color for another. All manner of skin diseases and cancers is here with us because we chose to destroy what we had thinking that we were enhancing it. Last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, the use of glutathione whitening pills is equally catching up with countries in the third world. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to compromise your health by taking pills that don't have long-term studies for the purpose of lightening your skin. Do you care if it leaves you with a fatal health condition? I bet you will care when it ends up making it impossible for you to walk in the sun or play in an open field or even bath with regular bath water. Life is short and uncertain already. Let's appreciate what we have and maintain it rather than exchange it. Thank you so much for taking time off your busy schedule to watch today's episode. God bless you and I'll come your way soon with another episode. Until then, it is bye-bye for now.